up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! We are back. <laughs> we are back, and uh, it was. We had a great week in the Midwest meetup. Thankful for Tools and Trash, Hard Knocks, Beard CV, and most of all, Dave. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Uh, Dave's a great guy. I really, um, really glad I got to meet Dave. Dave's, uh, I'm, he's, he's just an awesome guy, awesome individual. Definitely uh, appreciated being able to meet Alex from Tools and Trash. Another great guy. We had a lot of fun shooting. If you haven't checked out some of the stuff we did, go over to Instagram. You'll see the videos of us doing some shooting. Uh, I did some uh, offhand, uh, I did some weekend 100 yard stuff with Alex's Koenig. Uh, I've never shot a Koenig weekend, and I was able to ding one out with the old 9mm uh, on a, a very small target. Uh, the square was approximately, I should have took a picture of the target, but the square was approximately that big, I'm guessing about 2 inches. Uh, 100 yards, I nailed it uh, once uh, out of a couple rounds. Definitely wasn't a first shot. Definitely not. I'm not that skilled. So, um, you know, with that being said, we did some shooting. Uh, let, him, let Alex shoot my 9mm AR, uh, a couple other guns, my tank folio stock too. Anyways, we had a great time. So, I have a couple things I want to talk to you about, not to drag on too long, but I just wanted to revert over that. Uh, first of all, I've got a mail call. Got a mail call. Um, Induction Innovations sent me a little little package um, thanking me for doing a review on the uh, Venom HP. Nothing too crazy, but I got a sticker. Uh, Inductions Innovations. Uh, definitely have enjoyed using the product. I haven't had anything too crazy come up yet, but uh, we're definitely looking forward to uh, doing some more stuff. They sent me some more stuff on the HP, Venom HP. I don't think this card was in my box when I got it. So I think they sent me this um, to talk more about, you know. And then I found out that the actual heat difference between the HP and the Venom is 1,100 degrees versus 800, 1,800 degrees. So the HP definitely, definitely has a little bit, packs a little bit more punch. So, um, And then I got a nice koozie. Look at that. The old Venom HP Mini Doctor. I am definitely a fan of the HP. So um, that was really cool. So that, that sums up our mail call. Monday, um, we'll have another video tomorrow. I've got some other stuff that I didn't want to do in a mail call. It's going to get a separate video. <coughs> it technically wasn't a mail call, but we're definitely going to get on to something that's a little bit more important. And that is the title of the video. Amazon Warranty. And you guys know, if you followed me, there's no affiliate links in my channel. The reason why is, is because almost probably for just over a year, even before I started doing YouTube, I had my concerns about Amazon's warranty. Um, I don't know anybody from Amazon. I really don't care. And I know that this is probably going to offend some people that do have Amazon links in their channel that are friends of mine. Um, but I will tell you this right now. If you are buying off of somebody's affiliate link, my feeling is you better make sure that they understand that they're going to handle the that they know how the warranty works. I don't think that people that put out the Amazon affiliate links really understand that their affiliate link doesn't really necessarily mean that they're giving you the whole good deal. It is a disclaimer from me right now saying to watch yourself when you're buying off of affiliate links because those affiliate links don't lead you to what I would consider something that would lead up to be able to handle the warranty. I have had several situations now. I shouldn't say several. I've had a, I've had a couple situations now. And I don't warranty a bunch of stuff, but oddball tools especially. So, for instance, mountain wrenches. I didn't have one break, but I contacted where I bought the seller. And Amazon basically told me, sorry, buddy, you're SOL. You're not getting your warranty on it through us. We're not handling the warranty. The third-party vendor that was sold it is no longer doing business with us, yada, yada, yada. So a lot of times when you buy this Amazon stuff, you're buying it from a third party because Amazon's a middleman. And that's why I advocate going straight to the dealer. Uh, if, if it's a company that's selling it, go straight to them. 
because you're going to be able to deal with them and handle warranty with them. Now, some of you have already heard about Milwaukee's warranty process and how they're not handling it through Amazon. And I can rightfully understand that. But why spend your hard-earned money on Amazon to save a few bucks if you're not going to get the warranty? Okay, the biggest thing about the tool is, is you're buying because you're thinking you're getting a better deal. But if it's not a lifetime warranty product that you're getting through Amazon, and that's voiding the lifetime warranty, A, it's a problem with the company. Um, you know, honestly, I understand why they're why the companies are are voiding the warranties because they're getting they're getting middlemaned by Amazon. Amazon is strong arming those companies to give up a better deal so that Amazon can make that money as a middleman. And this is the biggest problem with tool companies, guys. The biggest problem with tools and tools in general is that there's always too many people making money in the middle and that comes right down to youtube too you know when you got these guys that are getting free tools on youtube and i'm no exception to the rule but when you got guys that are giving out that cost has to come out of somebody's pocket okay and the end consumer is the one that usually sucks it up the the, the first believe it or not no matter what the company will not lose money i can tell you as a tool dealer no matter what they would just pass the buck and that's what they do is pass the buck now that's the price of tea in China, so to speak. How do you overcome that? Well, my suggestion is cutting out the middleman, and that kind of represents, you know, well, then you say, CP, what about the tool trucks? You know, they technically are a middleman. But, honestly, the biggest problem is, is with that is, is that the tool trucks are ran by independent distributors, so they're kind of getting middleman too. Um, you know, there's no good answer for it, but being a smart shopper and actually you know, making the company do their diligence to get something, to get the product out there at a decent price, that's the biggest thing, and we all have to have the voice together to do that. Um, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things, guys. It, it is a fickle business, like I always say. There's a lot of great tool companies out there, and there's a lot of great products, and there's a lot of great people that do business, but, there's that big butt. But there's also people that are sticking their hands in the cookie jar that really don't need to be there. So that's my take on that. You know, when you go to do an Amazon, when you ever go to hit an Amazon affiliate link, maybe you should ask the person who's putting the Amazon affiliate link out there, hey, is Amazon backing up your link by handling the warranty? Because I highly suggest that you pay attention to that. You know, in my opinion people who are putting the Amazon affiliate links out should have to handle the warranty process too, you know, because they are the one that are promoting the product and they're the one that are getting revenue off of it. They're another middleman in the game, okay? And their job is to just post a link and then they get credit for it. It's not a, it's not a bad thing. I understand because you have the, you have a YouTube channel or you have some type of uh, post or whatnot and people are, aren't going to like me saying this because guess what? People don't like the truth. But the truth is the truth, guys, and there's a reason why I don't post up Amazon affiliate links. I just don't believe in them. I don't believe in taking money for helping people find product cheaper. I know guys like it because it's quick and easy, but at the end of the day, I would be getting money for doing nothing. And unfortunately, I feel like I want to do something, and not only that, I'm trying to help out. I'm not trying to earn a bunch of money from it. It does help the channel. Don't get me wrong. Those Amazon affiliate links, for some people, it does help their channel, and it's it's not a bad thing. But, you know, what is it doing for you? You get the product, and then you get screwed out of the warranty. So who's, whose responsibility is it? Amazon, the affiliate link holder, the third-party vendor? Whose is it? You tell me. Whose problem is it? You know, that's just it, guys. Uh, you know, I, I just want somebody... Uh, we got some battery battery dead going dead edge. Sorry. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this video, video up. Tell me down in that comment box what you think we should do. What do you think about Amazon's warranty? And tell me exactly where do you think Amazon should take this or how Amazon should handle this. Because honestly, in my opinion, I think Amazon needs to step up their game. If they're going to be doing this and these tools are supposed to have warranty, then they should be handling it. And I'm disappointed. And that's why I don't use Amazon. I go to the vendor that's selling it. I go directly to the source. 
like I always say, guys, you can't buy Tekton tools from don't buy Tekton tools from Tek from Amazon. Buy it from Tekton. Not only that, you get a ten percent kickback. There's a lot of people that do that, guys. Believe it or not, there's a lot of perks from buying straight from the company. And you get the warranty handled without an issue. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video opens up your eyes a little bit and lets you realize what you got to do when you're buying something from Amazon to make sure that you get covered. It's just a little bit of insurance and just a little bit of a heads up. So that way you know. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.